Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. Now Jamal Agnew from his end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. carry for the Clemson man Travis Etienne five yards on the game's first play second down defensively here you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL so when they're that high powered you've got to find a way to hold them under 20 because to me that's the magic number 20 points scored gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win so if they're up around 24 28 30 they could be in some trouble I think so because then you turn it into a shootout and that means your offense has to keep pace a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. I don't care what game it is. Everyone's always looking for an early advantage, an early break, and they almost had one there. That should have been an interception. Nice catch. Just couldn't get his feet down in bounds. And offensively lucky to have that one back. And he is not going to get the first down as he'll spot this at about the 28. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll mean a call to the punt team as it's fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stuffed them for almost no gain. They're going on fourth down. Lawrence. Flushed out right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, Jack Rogers. Devontae Adams, his first touchdown on the year. And the Jags have taken the early lead. For as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in full pads, it is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move. That was incredible. Well, in this league where coordinators worry so much about drawing up the right routes, blocking assignments, misdirections and stuff, they have these precise arrows and movements. Sometimes the best plays just come from the schoolyard where you look at your fastest guy and say, go long, go get it, big man. And if you look at the next-gen stats, you'll see that he topped out at an even 21 miles an hour. the touchdown cook now to kick this one away and there will not be a return here it's a touchback and it'll come out to the 25 yard line Just a three-yard gain there. Well, this defense for the Jags, they were quite formidable in the win over Philly a week ago. And one of the key things you always look for when you're evaluating a defense is how opportunistic are they? How many takeaways do they get per game? And how about last week's game? That number, six. Absolutely phenomenal performance. They were on top of their game right from the first snap. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. They'll run it here with Wilkins. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip him. And the Jags get to him as Johnny goes. Credit the 
sack to Shaquem Griffin. But nothing takes a start to have a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And Old Mo is a very, very fickle man. He's going to fire one deep left sideline. And this one is incomplete. Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is set away. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. And someone must have been in this hot sun a little too long. They've got the punt team out there. And just to clarify, it is not fourth down. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. And they'll get to this and touch it. Looks like, yeah, right at the 15-yard line here. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Tyson Campbell. And he will take this all the way down to the 38-yard line. Defensively that time, they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw a zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted, but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, they'll react at least a half a second faster. You've got to know where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise, the end result can be something you don't like. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. But just a simple tap pass, but it pays off in a big way. And sometimes the simple stuff causes the most problems for a defense because there's a breakdown in communication there. When that receiver goes behind the line of scrimmage and it looks like he's going in motion, someone either has to go with him or he has to be passed off to another defender. Somehow they didn't get that communicated well and it turned into a nice play. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Lawrence with a quick throw outside. That's complete. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. You have to ask the question, where was the help? Because it's a little surprising to me that he'd find that much room to run this close to the end zone. He doesn't quite get there, but he sets his guys up with a first and goal. Now Lawrence to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Travis Etienne. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Jaguars lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. Extra point right down the middle. And that'll make the score 14-0. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Raiders take over first and 10 at their own 25. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So, they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Yeah. 
Now Carr. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much-needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. This will be caught. It's Waddle. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. A great effort there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Raiders have cut it back to within a score. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Jamal Agnew now to return it. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Dante Jackson picks it. And the Raiders are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training, so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. They'll run on first down. Wilkins. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. First down. Working the middle here. That's complete to Everett, the tight end. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. Now a play fake, Carr. Flush to his right. And he'll just get rid of it. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? Car to throw again. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And that is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Jalen Waddle, his first touchdown on the year. And the Raiders, they're within an extra point of tying this thing up. 
That pass also evens the ledger for the rookie quarterback. Had the interception earlier, and now he gets the touchdown throw. The ideal touchdown to interception ratio is what? Three to one for the best quarterbacks. But he's a rookie. Just getting back to even is a big deal. Increases the confidence his teammates have in him as he tries to become their leader. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And we are tied here in the second quarter. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. To return, here's Agnew. Now a hit and a loose football. And the Raiders pick it up. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return for six and a Raider touchdown. Carlson on for the PAT. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. To return, here's Agnew. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. Eluding the pressure right. And Sharp holds it in. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. A big connection on that one, 34 yards. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. From the gun, it's Lawrence. Looking deep for Adams. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Thus far, they haven't been able to move the line of scrimmage very well in the running game. Almost felt like they said in the huddle, can you guys pass protect? Let's take a big shot downfield. Didn't get it on that one, but they may come back to it again. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Now Lawrence. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders 21. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. On first and ten, it's ETN. Stays on his feet. And he gets it inside the ten to the nine. From the shotgun, Lawrence. And that ball is caught by DJ Chark for the Jags touchdown. DJ Chark, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Jaguars are within an extra point of tying this one up. The extra point splits the uprights, and we are tied here in the second quarter. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Offense set to get this drive started. And Charles away touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing. It's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match in a football game. Yeah, I like your description there. Maybe we're sitting in a nice royal box watching this type of a game. But let's face it, right now, the way it's going back and forth, it's going to come down to who can get a stop. Escaping the pressure right. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked up by Andre Sisko. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. 
Well, you don't want to coach him, Charles, to stay in the pocket on every play, but I guess that's the danger of getting outside of the pocket, extending a play and making a bad throw. Turns into six points the other way. Yeah, sometimes when you get outside the pocket, your, your vision actually gets obscured a little bit or you narrow it down too much and you don't see all the defenders in the area. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And he can't field it cleanly. It's loose. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And they gave up the pick six. And now they'll be looking to right the ship here. Now, as a quarterback, are you a little more cautious this go around? You should be, just because after what you gave up. But you can't be so cautious as to just really take things in, and now you're not going to put... He's got a man complete! And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. A big play there for the Raiders. There's the arm strength that we saw in college and during the scouting process. And really, it's not just the arm strength there, but the placement as well. To me, that was an excellent combination of arm talent and accuracy. On first down, it's Wilkins, and this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Shotgun now for Carr. Looking left side, and it's complete. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. A big play there for the Raiders. They'll run on first down. Wilkins. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. 44 yards on the ground for him so far. Ball on the eight, it's second and four. They run with Wilkins, and this time they were ready for him as they stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here. Third and five. They'll try the left side. It's Wilkins, and they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. They'll go for it. It's Carr. Flushed out right. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. And that's a big pickup of a first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense, they can't get the stop here. And Carr's going to keep it himself. And I don't think he got in. The big bodies up front held him at the one. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. A carry here for the big tight end. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. This is less than an extra point, just a 19-yard attempt. Carlson able to put this one through. So three points on the board, as easy a field goal as you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. 
I love that peripheral vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in, you're still setting them up to go a long field, 98, 99-yard drive. How do you look at your defense and not give them that opportunity? To return, here's Agnew. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we send you a couple hours south of here to Orlando. That's where we check in with a coach and our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And Charles, they trail here, though not really the fault of this offense. No, they certainly did their part in the first half. But when you're in a shootout like this, you definitely want your defense to play better, but you know that's out of your control. All you can do, keep putting points on the scoreboard and keep giving your defense opportunities to make stops. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. So, Charles, you talk about this head coach, and let, let's face it, this season certainly has not gone the way many had expected or at least hoped. And I think we saw some of that frustration boil over at his weekly press conference earlier this week. Yeah, we certainly did, didn't we? Because, let's face it, he's heard the whispers, and they're going louder that he shouldn't be around next year. He essentially stormed out of that meeting you just referenced with the reporters. How did he end it? We're done here. Well, that's a function of losing and all the pressure that's on him. You hear about pressure creating diamonds? In this case, it's bursting the pipes of the coach. On first and ten, here's Carr. Throw right side, going to be caught here by Waddle. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. Three yards the game there, second down. Again, it's Carr. Another catch there for Waddle. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. So in Jacksonville territory now. Here's a first and 10 as they're down to the 29-yard line. On the carry, it's Wilkins. And he'll be brought down at about the 25 after a pickup of four. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. They run again with Wilkins. And give him about three as he gets it down to the 22-yard line. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. 58 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Into the red zone, it's Carr. Sliding out of the pocket. And this is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Jalen Waddle, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And once again, the Raiders are back out in front. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that gives him a three-point lead. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. 
This taken in at the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. with the play clock reading four, we're going to get a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Now ETN to start the drive, and he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there, second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. A good action to this point in the third quarter, just a three-point game, second and ten. They go play action now. Lawrence rolling to his right, looking deep for Adams. And got his man complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A big play that time through the air. 35 yards. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. On play action, Lawrence. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. When you're a player of his stature, you don't just circle the games on your team's calendar. You circle, circle the, the Pro Bowl? <laughs> without a doubt. That's a game that you just figure you're going to be in each and every year. That's because of catches like that. That's why he goes. That's complete to Travis Etienne out of the backfield. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. Lawrence going to fire it out wide, complete. Touchdown! A great play there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Jaguars have retaken the lead. I can't believe I'm saying this, but in today's NFL, I wouldn't want to play defense. Too many great receivers and guys who are accurate who can get them the ball. We've seen the result days like this one. Extra point forthcoming. And that will make this a four-point game. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. set to get this drive started and for them a touchdown their last go around obviously they'll be hoping to do that again and when you start plotting for this drive when you start thinking to yourself okay what are we going to do you don't go away from what you did before because that worked but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments you know you're following up on this head coach and the pressure that he is under cd i want to switch it to you because you've been on winning teams but i know you've been in similar situations too where things just are not going well how do you approach that as a player? It's a tough approach, Brandon, because you actually have to do the opposite of what you would think. You know, in your mind, you're thinking, I redouble my efforts, I go harder. In a sense, you have to back off a little bit. You have to do a little bit less. Do what you're supposed to do, but don't take on the pressures of doing more and trying to do your teammates' jobs as well. 
you do that, that's really going to lead you to more issues. Throwing his car on third down. Going right side here, and that's complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A big play there for the Raiders. So the big play gets them across midfield now for first and 10. They run the counter. It's Wilkins. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. They'll keep it on the ground. Wilkins. And he's going to get this inside the 30. So both teams trade touchdowns. And the third is worth through three quarters of play. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL. And it's on EA Sports. On first down. It's Wilkins. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. This is Wilkins. And he's going to take this one down to about the 23-yard line. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun, and they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Buying time to his left. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Now Carr, got to have this one. Flush to his right. And able to get this down inside the 15, to either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. So there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. Now, this has been a good march down the field, but now they're stuck looking at a second and 14. Here's Carr. That is caught at the seven. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as... I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. Now Carr. Eluding the pressure right. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. And they're going to at least line up to go for it here on fourth down. Car to throw for it on fourth down. And that's going to be caught for a Raider touchdown. A great effort there. With two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Raiders have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that gives him a three-point lead. 
Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. From his end zone, here comes Agnew. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. And they'll go again with ETN. Bulldozes past him. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Running out of the gun with ETN. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. And now they'll throw it with Lawrence. That's caught. It's Dan Arnold, the tight end. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A big play there on the catch and run. Well, this is where an offense needs to show what it's made of. And in fact, where a quarterback needs to show what he's made of. Trying to engineer a fourth quarter comeback. And he hits a big one right there. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. A shotgun snap and a give to ETN. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. 67 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. I know that play went to the left side, and that's what it was designed to do, an outside handoff there. But how about the whole offensive line being involved? Seal the left side where the play was going, where they call play side. But how about on the back side? Just taking care of business to make sure no one can get there and disrupt it. Is the biggest key the left tackle? Without a doubt. Control that edge. Get out there. You want that left tackle. If you bring your tight end over there, either way, control the edge of the line of scrimmage. You've got a chance to rumble. Robinson again. And he'll take this one in for a James touchdown. James Robinson, his first touchdown of the year. And the Jaguars have moved down in front here in the fourth quarter. Right after, right down the middle. And that will make this a four-point game. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. A fairly short kick from the 14. We've got a one-score game with inside of two minutes remaining. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> you love pressure. <laughs> I love it. Let's see if they dial it up this drive. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Oh, what a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. Uh, he's been quiet all afternoon. He may have just come up with a play of the day right there, though. Obviously, it's not the volume in which you get done. It's the quality, and that was a quality catch right there. Now Carr. He's going to let it fly. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. And the Jags have just about sewn up this football game. 
Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ball game. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, and became great later? Who would that be? That'd be one Peyton Manning through 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record. How'd things turn out for him? I think okay. He's a guy in all the commercials now, right? <laughs> yeah, I think he's doing okay. Now it looks like he'll throw here. They'll roll him out right. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the Raiders are going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go. Lawrence from his end zone on third and long. And it's complete to Adams. There he goes right side. He's at the 30. 10. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that's the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. They have a little bit of time left here, but this one not going to go their way. And this is where, in this situation for me, Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout as they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. Car to throw. Throwing left side, it's complete. And he is out of bounds, so a nice pick up there. Up past the 35, stops the clock as well. Carr. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. One final try now for Carr. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. With no timeouts left, that's a dangerous proposition working in the middle of the field. Fortunately for them, that one fell incomplete. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Picked off at the 17. And the Jaguars come up with a late turnover. But it will probably only matter to the statisticians as this ball game is now officially over. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for the Jaguars, that early momentum continues here as they move to 4-0. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Indianapolis Colts. Meanwhile, for Las Vegas, the defeat is their first of the year as they drop to 3-1. And, and they'll have a tough one at home next week against the Denver Broncos.